Christmas came a bit early this year at Sandia Labs. Researchers there are getting millions in federal stimulus money to make a better car battery that you might be using in the future. News 13's Amanda Goodman is live in the Newsplex with the details. Well, Jessica, this money is part of the Department of Energy's Freedom Car program, and the goal is to help create safer and more affordable batteries for electric cars. This is a job most little boys dream of. At Sandia's Battery Abuse Testing Lab, researchers spend a good chunk of time trying to make batteries catch fire, explode, and just fail altogether. The reason that we want to do that is so that we can give information back to the various manufacturers and hopefully they can use that information to make the batteries safer. It's something they've been doing for more than 15 years, and with the help of $4.2 in stimulus money, they're about to get a serious upgrade to their lab and more. Increase the uh, range of testing that we do and the type of batteries that we're able to test. Part of the money will allow Pete Roth and his team to focus on lithium-ion batteries, which will soon be powering electric cars like the Chevy Volt. Right now, you can find lithium-ion batteries in cell phones and laptops. These batteries then will allow uh, someone to drive your vehicle up to 40 miles on an all-electric mode. But with all that power comes risks. Because it contains so much energy, they're hard to, to harness. And that's why so much time and energy is spent on testing the batteries in real-world scenarios, such as simulating car crashes and battery punctures, scenarios that have to keep up with the technology. They're constantly changing. Every year there's new materials being proposed and being tested. And so the testing has to constantly keep up. Now, these batteries will be used in electric cars starting in 2011. Jessica, back to you. Okay, Amanda, the lab expects they will receive the money, money sometime next spring.